Well, how dare people try and enjoy themselves? Let's begin. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but I can't understand why, despite the saying, go woke, go broke, that a lot of companies always seem to just pander to the woke brigade, don't they? Maybe they think that if they don't come across as ultra-sensitive and therefore negate any risk of possibly offending any delicate snowflakes out there, then maybe more people may either continue to buy their products or agree with them so much that it gives them the sense of taking the moral high ground. What they're actually forgetting, though, is I'm sure the majority of people out there, myself included, are not actually woke, and are just getting sick and tired of being told what is best for us and what isn't. We'll decide that ourselves. Thank you very much. But unfortunately, Unfortunately, according to The Sun, one council hasn't actually understood that yet and has therefore cancelled Roy Chubby Brown's show because of one, that's right, one complaint, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. And it makes me wonder why they actually done it. I mean, was it because of something like this? Yes, hello. I've just seen Roy Chubby Brown's advert in the paper and it offends me. I, I demand you cancel his show straight away so therefore no one else can possibly be offended. I'm um, sorry, sir. I mean, we can't do that. Maybe there are actually people who want to see him. <gasps> Sir? Did you just call me sir? How dare you possibly assume my gender? Either you cancel his show or I will, I will whinge on Twitter. No, no, anything but that. Um, say nice things, it'll be cancelled, I promise. The sweary star who's 77 was due to appear at Cole, Lancashire in November. Brown wrote, tickets were on sale. The venue said they'd had one. Yes, one complaint. This was passed to the council leader who said that as the venue was publicly funded, they'd cancel. If my show is not your cup of tea, I respect that, so just don't come. Don't spoil it for the majority. Pendle Council said the decision was in the best interest of the community. Well, who are they to decide that? I mean, as he said, he, they shouldn't ruin it for the majority of people who actually want to see the show. Also, cancelling the show is taking away his chance of earning money as well for something that he's done for ages. So I think it's a bit disgraceful if you ask me. If anything, it kind of reminds me of when Ben and Jerry's ice cream started doing all sorts of political tweets. I mean, can you remember that? Admittedly, it was a while ago and obviously it had nothing to do with what they were selling. And at the end of the day, they've got just one job to do, which is to make nice ice cream for people to eat. And therefore, they've got no reason to get involved in anything else, have they? Including political stuff. And I think the same thing also goes for this council too, because people should have the right to see something if they want to, whether the woke brigade like it or not. 